Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here with all the scarves that I have arm knitted and I've had a little bit of help with this. I've, um, at this point, I've arm knitted an afghan and then I've arm knitted all of these scarves in various yarns. So by doing this many projects, um, I've learned a lot of tips that will help you to be a better arm knitter. And um, some of the tips include how to use multiple strands like I did here. This is using everything from like zero weight to um, City Life um, ladder yarn and then a worsted weight yarn mixed together. And then um, there's tips in how to um, measure your yarn, how to mix and match colors and dye lots in your gauge and um, using uh, the beginning and the end of a ball to create two strands or create like even four strands out of one skein of yarn. Um, adding yarn, what to do if you need to take it off your arm, it, what if you wanted to bind off on an opposite arm, I'd show you how to do that. So um, I, I am madly in love with arm knitting <laughs> and I used to knit when I was very young and I was pretty good at it actually. I don't know, I don't really know, I wouldn't even know how to do what I used to do when I was young. But anyway, I um, just love this. I, I just think it's a lot of fun. And I've been teaching my friends also. And I love teaching people because I can slow the whole process down and see where they struggle. And then I can create um, good tips for you. And that's what I want to share in this video series. So this is um, Lion Brand Homespun. This is Starbella. This is Starbella Flash. This is Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Yarn. Um, this is a mix of Premier Yarn, City Life, um, uh, Eversoft, and Enchant Yarn. This is actually a 12 foot scarf that I made using three, I think it was three strands of Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky in chocolate. But all of these are in, an, in separate videos and this is just to introduce all of the tips that I have for you. And then this afghan was done in uh, Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky also. So anyway, let's get started on your tips and make sure that you watch all of them. There's probably going to be about 20 in the, at least 20 tips in the series. And I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, just write them below and the links to all the videos and everything will be listed below. Thank you. For this arm knitting tip, I'm going to explain to you about using any and every kind of yarn that you have in your yarn stash and just get super creative with this. And a typical scarf I've, I'm finding out is probably you're going to need about 55 yards. But to be safe, like as long as you have 70 yards of one yarn, you could run that strand with several other strands. And so this is a prime example of mixing yarns. I took a zero um, weight yarn, which is Enchant here, and I mixed it with a worsted weight yarn, which was Eversoft. It's a light worsted weight yarn. And then I also put in here um, City Life, uh, which is a just a, a ladder yarn that's typically used for jewelry. So I just wanted to see what this looked like and I love the way the red color brought out the um, metallic in the Enchant and the, um, and the uh, City Life. And I just think it's beautiful and everybody went crazy over this one uh, in our office. And um, so you can just mix and match everything. I wouldn't be afraid to do like a um, chenille yarn with a cotton yarn. You know, just try everything. You can match different colors. And you know what? Even your dye lots don't matter. So it's a great, great way to use up a lot of yarn in your stash. And I have tons of yarn in my pod that I need to uh, use up. And I'll probably be um, making afghans and scarves and whatever with them. And then you also want to think about using different texture yarns in your um, scarf. And you can run like four or five strands together. And you could use like a boucle, like a bumpy yarn with a, a, even a, a typical netting yarn. I mean, just, just try everything. And you could also, I'm, there's going to be another tip where I show you how to do little samples. So that's my tip for today and make sure that you watch all the other tips and I want to hear your comments or questions or whatever I can help you with. I'm here to help.
So thanks for watching. Definitely done with the long tail right now. Because there's only groups of four on my arm right now. Doesn't that look beautiful, those shades of blue? Down or um, something happens where you drop it, you don't want all your stitches to unravel. So for the next group, you skip that one.